The 2017–18 South African listeriosis outbreak is an ongoing widespread outbreak of listeria monocytogenes food poisoning that resulted from contaminated processed meats produced by Enterprise Foods, a subsidiary of Tiger Brands, in Palakwane. As of 12 March 2018, there have been 183 deaths and 973 confirmed infections. It is the world's worst ever listeriosis outbreak. Topic: Investigation of the origin. The outbreak was first identified by doctors at Chris Haney and Steve Biko Academic Hospitals in July 2017, who notified the National Institute for Communicable Diseases (NICD) about an unusually high number of neonatal infections. Interviews conducted by the authorities with people who contracted listeriosis indicated that processed cold meats, most notably polony, was the likely cause of the outbreak. However source of the outbreak at the Enterprise Foods facility was only discovered after nine five-year-old children from Soweto were brought to Chris Hani Baragwanath Hospital in mid-January 2018. Samples taken from Enterprise and Rainbow Chicken Polony products at the creche the children attended tested positive for the strain of listeriosis causing the outbreak and led investigators to the infected production facilities. On March 4, 2018, Health Minister Aaron Matsoladi announced that the disease was traced to the Enterprise processed meats factory in Palakwane. Environmental samples from the factory were found to contain the bacterium Listeria monocytogenes strain Street 6, the strain responsible for the outbreak. Additionally, further samples from another enterprise factory in Germiston and from a rainbow chicken factory in the Free State tested positive for listeria, although which strain these samples tested positive for is not yet known. Impact In January 2017 the first laboratory confirmed cases of the outbreak had been made. By December 2017 the outbreak had been declared by the South African Ministry of Health, stating that the ministry was very concerned by the outbreak. By mid-January 2018 around 557 cases had been confirmed with most incidences recorded in the Gauteng province. By the 24th of February 2018 the outbreak had caused the deaths of 164 people and infected a further 872 people. By 5 March 2018 a total of 180 people were thought to have died from the outbreak with 78 of the deaths being infants. Reactions after cause was known Following the announcement, Tiger Brand's stock price on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange dropped by 7%, resulting in a R5.7 BN equivalent to US$438.69 million reduction in total value. At a press conference the next day, Tiger Brand's CEO Lawrence McDougall denied responsibility, stating, "...there is no direct link between any of the deaths and our products." When pressed by journalists, he refused to apologize. The South African government issued a recall notice of all products of RCL Foods Limited and Enterprise Foods and Rainbow Chicken facilities on March 4. Tiger Brands reportedly admitted to knowing about the presence of listeriosis in some of its products 18 days before the government recall. On March 5, Botswana, Namibia, Mauritius, Mozambique, Malawi, and Zambia suspended all imports of processed meat from South Africa. Kenya followed suit on the next day. In December 2018 the South Gauteng High Court granted a certification order opening up the process for class action lawsuit against Tiger Brands for around 1,000 claimants. Each claimant might be eligible to seek between R100,000 and R2 million in compensation for their losses due to the outbreak. <laughs> 